When I first started helping to organize funerals at the cathedral, my granddaughter stopped me as I was walking out the door. She said, you know, you look like a flight attendant. I'm pretty sure it was because I was wearing a gold lapel pin, purple blouse, and a pencil skirt. And I said to her, well, you know, sort of. In a way, I do help people get to their destination. Should the cabin lose pressure, oxygen masks will drop from the overhead area. Please place the mask over your own mouth and nose before assisting others. Are you ready to assist others to safely get to their destination? Today is All Souls Day, the day we remember the faithful departed, those who have died before us. By praying the divine mercy, we can help those who have died to withstand the turbulence of purgatory and get to their final destination. In life, we are all sinners and reconcile ourselves from time to time when we fall out of grace. In life, we are all sinners and we reconcile ourselves from time to time when we fall out of grace. As sinners, we often wonder, where are we going? Are we worthy to be with the Lord at the end of life? Today's gospel answers that question for me in the affirmative. It says, For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. God gave Jesus charge over us. If we believe in him, we will not be rejected. As a loving God, his will is that where he is, we also may be. We don't have to be lost in purgatory if we miss the mark during life. I lost my mother last year and my father in 2004. I miss them terribly and pray that they did not die without being in a state of grace to be in heaven. Because I love them so much, I want to be their flight attendant making sure that they get to their destination safely. But in the unlikely event, they were not in a state of grace. I can pray to help them because God's will is for us to be together. In the communion of saints, I can provide that oxygen mass through prayer and through the divine mercy to make sure that they get on their way. So today, I will remember to do my part to pray the divine mercy with the communion of saints for those I loved and lost. Let's all remember those we lost and be the flight attendant who ushers them in prayer into the arms of Jesus.